right, hey guys, it's Ranko here. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I hadn't put anything out in a little while. I uh, had a little emergency hernia surgery uh, this last Thursday, so it hadn't quite been a week. Um, I'm on the mend, it's quite painful, so I've got a six to eight weeks of being out of work um, to recover. They said four weeks, I'm really not supposed to lift anything over 10 pounds. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm trying not to do anything stupid so that I don't injure myself, re-injure myself, because I don't want to do this again. So, since I can't do any riding right now, and the tat trip has been put off till the fall, which I think is going to be better anyway, because it's just been raining and raining and raining here in Tennessee, uh, and we'll, in Mississippi and Arkansas, where we'd be going. So, I think it's better. Um... So we're gonna, so I had stuff ordered. I got some, a new set of uh, TKC 80s just came in, which was a little anticlimactic because I can't put them on the bike and trip, whatever. So I'm gonna, I'll wear the other tires a little more, wear them down a little more because I'm mainly doing street riding until the tat. So not a big deal. Got new inner tubes. So uh, I'm gonna really show you those. Everybody knows what an inner tube looks like. Um, but I did get something for my tires that, I do love, I love these things. I've used them, I've had great success with them. See if we can see that there, the Easy Beads. Okay, this kit contains Easy Tire Bead Motorcycle Kit, ceramic, ceramic balancing, one ounce front, two ounce rear, free applicator kit, contents, uh, bottle with cap, tube, valve core tool, one ounce bead bag, two ounce beads, and instructions. All right, so, instructions um, very simple to do I got a little thank you there a little 20% discount for a reorder so what they do is they give you this bottle and a little tube okay so you cut the tip off the bottle and push the tube on I've got like a bunch of these bottles so I don't really I'm just I don't know what I'll do with this one um, and then they give you a very nice valve stem removal tool. I've got four or five of those now, at least. And then you have, my dog Gracie's in here in front of me. She's dreaming like crazy, it's funny. So then you have, look at the static electricity. Getting those beads going. So you have a two ounce bag and a one ounce bag and you put these in the bottle. Obviously, uh, two ounce goes rear, one ounce in the front. You take out the valve stem, the core, and shake these in, and then put the stem back in, put a little air in it, and then put it in the tire. Very simple to use, very effective. I love them, uh, again. I started using them on my Russian Ural because it had these huge clunky wheel weights that were just awful. So I found these, I don't even, I found them online somewhere. Went with them, just loved them. Anyway, easy beads. Second thing I got, Sea to Summit. Yep. This is a sleeping bag liner. So, when Jamie and I were doing the tat last, it was very hot, so, and these would be good for hot weather too, just because you have a lighter sleeping bag, but it keeps you from getting all the oils from your skin inside your sleeping bag, and then when you come home, you just throw this in the washing machine, wash it, and your sleeping bag stays much, much cleaner. So it's really, you can see through it, I think you can see, yeah. So, um, you can see my shoulder kind of up there, but it's like that really nice t-shirt material that they're making these days. Um, it's 100% polyester. So, like I said, it this is nice too. I've gotten in it and it comes all the way up over your head and it has a little, um, little cinch there that you can pull it up tight. So, supposed to add, I think they say 25 degrees to your bag. Uh, I, I don't know about that, but um, but anyway, I got, I got it on Amazon. 
And uh, I'm always happy with the Sea to Summit stuff. I will tell you this, and it's nitpicky and silly. If I buy something, it better go back in the bag. Because there's nothing worse than camping and getting up in the morning and trying to pack up and you gotta force something into the bag. This thing's like a dream. I've, I unpacked it and put it on before the video, obviously, because I wanted to test it and make sure the length was good. And I'm 6'4", and it was plenty plenty long. I think it's 70 inches is, uh, is what they, I think. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, six foot eleven. Well, it says six foot eleven inches, and then thirty five inches wide. So that's plenty big. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be camping in the fall, so this will give you a little more warmth. Plus, holds up nice. That'll go actually right in with all my sleeping gear and packs down nicely. So really nice. Um, always happy with the Sea of Summit stuff. Personal hygiene. One of my things on the uh, trail. So I got these. Um, 40 times around his channel, I think he had these on there, and so he had a discount code, I think it was 40, F-O-R-T-Y, and you got like a 10% a discount or something like that. So these are biodegradable, which I think is just great. If you're camping, you can bury them, um, whatever. Nice for cleaning your face, your body, whatever. Um, so these are... Ideal for posterior pampering, but they're eight by 12. So, I mean, obviously, you know, that's, that's a big sheet. That's eight and a half by 11. So eight by 12, that's a good size sheet. Uh, it says this weighs 14.5 ounces. So it's, you can feel there, you know, there's liquid in it. Um, but I, that's just important to me. Like at the end of the day, I like cleaning off. If you don't have water available and all that kind of stuff, you can pretty much clean up anything with these. 100% biodegradable, unscented, alcohol-free, pH balance, hypoallergenic, aloe vera, vitamin E, um, and compost in 28 days. So, there you go. So, I thought those were cool. So, anyway, that's what's going on with me. I'm still losing weight. I'm down 45 pounds, which I'm sure the KLR will thank me for, which is also helping in my healing, so I'm trying to stick with that. Um... So it's not always fun to be on a diet or whatever, but uh, to see the re excuse me to see the results has been great. Um, so very happy about that. I'm just taking it easy. So I'm going to try to shoot more videos along the way, guys. Um, since I can shoot videos and not strain myself too much, we can do it. I've got my leg lamp up here. It's in the shot. I kind of had to turn to a different weird. The lighting was weird today, so I had to get a different angle. Um, but I'm going to shoot more videos. If you have anything you want to see or any questions you have about my camping gear or what I'm doing, I also got some great bags that I'm going to try to shoot another video on. Uh, I got some SW Motec bags and I was actually getting ready to do a review for those when I had this emergency hernia. I wouldn't even lift anything. I, I had the bags empty and was folding them out. And anyway, so those are really cool. I'll do another video of those uh, sometime this week, probably. I should have probably just brought them up and done it. Um, let me go get them. Let, let, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, so I had to move the camera a little bit. So I got these uh, SW Motec bags. This is the 180. It's a nice little zipper pocket up here at the top. Uh, just your standard dry bag roll. So the cool thing about these bags is they come with their own mounting hardware. So it's very similar to a rock strap where it has a loophole and then the clip. You can mount it to anything and then clip it into this guy. It's ready to go, whatever. So this is a smaller top bag that right now has uh, just my air mattress in it, just to kind of inflate it a little bit. But then this guy <laughs> is the 350. Okay, it's a top open, Velcro, right? And then you obviously do the two to three roll over top guy, and then it's gonna clip. Obviously there's nothing in it, so it might collapse a little bit. Anyway, so you got like that. So this is approved for uh, overhead storage too, so if you're traveling. Now, the cool thing is, 
It's got a nice handle. It does have shoulder straps that come with it. But the coolest part is these are your clips that go down to the bike with it comes the straps come with it to attach it. So you have four that you clip both sides. That cinches it down to the bike. Well, the cooler part is then if you have this guy and you want to piggyback it, you basically, do I have the straps on here? Yeah, I do. Um, you take your straps that are already attached to the bag and they clip on. I know you can't see this really well, but I'm going to hold it up. Like that, okay? So when this is packed, obviously, now this bag attaches to this bag. So it's all together. So if you wanted to pack this with more personal stuff that you wanted to just take off the bike, you could totally do that. Um, so SW Motec, um, I've been happy with any of the stuff I've bought from them. So these, I would assume, would be no different. So anyway, uh, that's the SW Motec bags, the 180 and the 350. All right, guys. Well, that's all I've got for you today. I'm going to try to get this video out here in a few minutes. Please ask me any questions you want. Um, I'm happy to go over stuff. Um, not going to be riding anytime soon. I think I'm going to get to do a little RV camping this next weekend. We were going to go this weekend, but thought it might be pushing it with the hernia. And plus, the weather's just been awful. So it's been raining here so much, and it's going to be like 25 degrees and raining. So back with it. So anyway, ask me any questions. Comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe, ding the bell. You know all the rules. Um, love you guys. Thanks for checking in on me. And I'll see you again real soon. All right, bye. Have a great day.